digitalization of the child online issue cannot be overemphasized because we are in a digital world. And Nigeria, as one member of the Committee of Nations, cannot live in isolation. And therefore, we must key in into the global best practice. And our children must not be exposed to an extent where some people take advantage of them in abusing their rights and their privileges. So the bill happens to be a collaborative bill and function between the children, parents, uh, service providers, and government to ensure that as a society, as a responsible and responsive society, we must do the right thing to ensure that children are protected and adults do not take advantage of the child's rights. The bill will serve as a comprehensive framework to counter the many threats to our children. The bill includes measures to establish strict criteria for age verification on social media platforms ensuring that children cannot access age inappropriate content. It also mandates schools and educational institutions to incorporate digital literacy and on online safety education into their curriculum, empowering our children with the knowledge and skills to navigate the internet world. Furthermore, the bill calls for stringent penalties for individuals found guilty of penetrating perpetrating online violence against children. We must send a strong message to those who prey on our vulnerable children and their actions will not go unpunished. However, the enactment of this bill alone is not sufficient. It is imperative that we raise awareness amongst parents, guardians and educators about the potential dangers lurking in the digital realm. We must not lose sight of the fact that in most cases, it starts online but ends up physically. So we must have that at the back of our minds. Otherwise, we miss uh, the point. It doesn't start and end uh, online. Uh, being online. Uh, now, we also need to ensure that service providers, especially the internet service providers, social, all that have been provided under the bill, have a responsibility and mandate, to, an obligation to take down the area in the bill that talks about the need to raise a complaint report and all that, I think will delay even the process of engaging and taking if necessary. But there has to be a mandatory requirement for providers to take down child sexual abuse materials that come onto their, uh, uh, their platforms. And that needs to, uh, to happen. The Commission quite applauds the bill, you know, because it's coming at a time where, you know, there are a lot of predators online who are really lurking and threatening and, you know, seeking to violate the rights of our children. And it is really a proactive step by this Honorable House, you know, to try and ensure that the rights of our children are protected. We are looking at the appointment that this person, I mean, the criteria for the appointment of the EC, that person must be somebody who has, who has background in child protection, talking up because this is basically about child and child protection, that the person must first, before any other thing, before having cyber security skill or any other skill, the person must be skilled in child protection and then the person must have no history, I mean no history or no record of child abuse so that whoever is uh, championing this cause, leading this, uh, this um, commission, we are sure that at least the person will not, um, will not do, uh, do things uh, differently.